back with another bike vlog. We've actually gotten some parts for the red bike here. We got some new tires, also a little buddy right there. New tires, new grips, because the other ones were just, they were flaking off in my hand. A new chain, new brakes, like, I don't know if these fit, but we'll have to see about that. And a, uh, this tool is supposed to help remove this thing right here because for some reason you need a special tool to do it. Now let's just see if this, uh, how this tool works. This like locks into these little bitty grooves if that can focus there. And then this thing right here pushes against it so that way you basically screw it out. So uh, I was uh, cranking on it and uh, this just popped off. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. I think I... Uh, Two hours later. I didn't give up. Got this one hooked on. Got the other one hooked on. I guess it's easy to take off the chain. And now I can somehow figure out how to take out this bolt, but hey, this is finally off. Maybe there's still hope for this bicycle as, well, how much work it needs. It, it, <laughs> it needs a lot of love. I noticed right here, uh, if this will focus, this one, because there's multiple different ways to remove these. Like I watched a whole video, there's like five different types. It requires one of these tools, which conveniently came with my kit to remove the crankcase. I don't really like to play games with stuck uh, stuck things, so I've got uh, this thing attached to a breaker bar. So this should be perfect. Check this out, baby. After so much cranking. Whoa, the, the whole thing came out. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a uh, it's a pretty pretty rusty. After doing some pricing, shut up, phone. This bottom bracket right here would be about sixteen bucks for a Shimano one, which is you know I like Shimano parts. A new chain is around eleven dollars, and this whole thing right here, the front forks, that is well the cheapest one I've found is about forty dollars, which I mean I don't know it's a little pricey, and of course I'm also going to need a new seat because the old one was extremely torqued over and a new tire because that right there is uh, not the uh, not the best to ride on. And so, while I do prefer the mountain bike design over a road bike design, the problem just comes just into how much money I really want to put into this versus just finding another free bike. I'm actually gonna see about getting one or checking out one today. I love the idea of restoring something back to, you know, it's old self, you know, no rust, no anything, because I mean, you can tell right there, that's where one of the little reflectors used to be, and it's all, I mean, you know, that's what it used to look like, but now it's all rusty and caked with crap, and you know, this thing right down here was a massive fan. I had to use a breaker bar to take it off, because I mean, there's a whole bunch of rust in there, and and so the whole problem comes into play, where you know, if I wanted to replace this, or just sand it down and do it correctly, it's all rusted and would likely be a massive pain to remove, rather than just paint over it like I did the other bike, which I may do, but of course, I'd say the biggest problem with this is that the front forks are just completely rusted out, and I just, I don't know. This bike is, this bike is problematic because of how much stuff needs to be done to it, and so honestly, I think it might, might get the, uh, the can, but uh, I don't know. I wanna see the other bike though. We might make a uh, Frankenstein bike from the two of them. So the quality might be kinda of bad, but I'm also doing a load light test, but this is the bicycle I got for free. And the best part is, everything works on it. There's minimal rust on it, it shifts well, I mean, brakes work well, it has front suspension, and uh, I guess you could consider rear suspension as well. And it's just an overall very nice ride, but there's one big problem. It has uh, suspension in the rear, which on most uh, gas to electric conversions, the motor goes right here. And so with here, it'd have to go lower, and there's a chance that, you know, if there, of course, you go over a bump and that thing warps a little, because, you know, suspension, you might, the chain might slip off. And so I've got to figure out a way either around that or maybe to create, like I said, a Frankenstein bike. But this one right here, it's very awesome. I might be able to just swap the wheels, although I think these wheels on this one are a little bit bigger than these. But there's a lot of things on the table to consider. So hopefully next time I'll be able to figure out a little more about that and to put those parts on my mountain bike. You know, again, I'm, with the old mountain bike, this is something right here that was an issue 
with this because I don't know if you notice why I have that clamped down, but these teeth were rubbing against the frame right here and preventing it from rotating. That's why I could never spin this around fully. And so I've had this pinched down for a while. Hopefully it's done something, but that right there is the problematic part and I don't know if I'll be able to replace that. So, you know, right now I could just throw a motor on this and call it a day, although these uh, brakes are not the most confidence inspiring. But that's the update. So hopefully I'll be able to tear into that other bike sometime soon and well, go from there.